I have a vision that somebody has dropped their iPhone 5S and they came across this Alcatel One Touch Fierce XL and they figured, hey, I just broke my iPhone 5S and now I'm just going to pick this up as a backup phone temporarily. Also, you may be somebody who has an iPhone 5S or is going to hand it off to somebody else or you're picking this phone up for a child and this is why we are creating this video. So also, you could be somebody who just loves these versus videos and uh, if you want to see this, stick around. We're going to pit these head to head in a series of tests. Let's go. Guys, so I know right off the bat, you know this is not even close in terms of design. This is a plastic 5.5 inch phablet here, the Alcatel One Touch Ida with a black face and a subtly gold back, plastic 8 megapixel camera and a flash with a micro USB port at the bottom. The iPhone 5S, we all know, is a little unibody, sleek design that's aluminum and has glass here at the top, glass here at the bottom, and uh, precision cut speaker grills. And we all know Apple's trademark design with the fingerprint scanner and the um, front facing camera right in the middle, as well as the power button up top on the 5S. So that's all I'm gonna say about design. The 5S is a lot smaller, it's a one-handed device, and this is a huge monster device, 5.5 um, inches, and it's pretty wide. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna say about that. Begin this testing of these two babies by booting them up at the same time, just to get an idea of which one boots up quicker. So I'm gonna try to do this at the same time in three, two, one. And we can see which one gets there first it will see who gets there first. If this takes too long, I will speed up the video just to make sure that we're not sitting around here watching people boot up. As you can see, the Alcatel shows the Android man and it kind of flies at you, letting you know you have an Alcatel one touch and you just made a smart move. And um, the Apple, I know the Apple's probably going to boot up quicker. It's a pretty fast booting phone, but you know, the Alcatel seems to be close with it. So we're still waiting on both devices. And uh, we'll probably pause and come back when this is done. It looks like the Apple device had finished, fir but finished first, but the Alcatel was almost right there, only about a second behind here. So let me just take the password out here and uh, let's get into the next test of this video. Guys, I know I said that we were gonna do a test next, but actually what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna check the software on both of them. You can see this is running Android Lollipop and it does have kind of an iPhone looking theme right there where they kind of just themed out the icons. So giving you that more rounded icon, but they couldn't do it everywhere. Going to about phone, you're gonna see this is running Android version 5.1.1 Lollipop. So that is a pretty optimized operating system right there. Not the latest marshmallow, but solid nonetheless. Over here, we're gonna go into settings and you're going to see, and I know you guys know what software version I'm on if you've been following the channel, but for those of you who haven't, we are on iOS 9.3, 13E233. So that is the um, software differences on these two devices. Section, we should talk about battery life on both of these devices. This has a 2500 milliamp hour battery and the iPhone has something like a 1536, somewhere in there, somewhere in the 1500 range milliamp hour battery life. And uh, as far as charging, both devices charge relatively quickly, not super quick, but I would have to head into the iPhone 5S for a little bit faster charging than the Alcatel Fierce XL, but, the Alcatel Fierce XL will last a bit longer on a charge, probably because of its uh, lower processor speed and bigger battery size nonetheless. Um, not too much different though. The iPhone 5S for a small phone does last pretty long. I'm going to knock this one right around, you know, 4 hours and 30 minutes to 5 minutes. And for the Alcatel Fierce XL, I'm getting about 4 hours and 30 minutes to 5 hours and 30 minutes. So, you know, they're pretty close, but I would say that the Alcatel outlasted the iPhone by about 30 minutes from my testing. In terms of camera, you're going to get an 8 megapixel EyeSight camera here on the back of the iPhone 5S, which is a very good camera as you've seen um, multiple places around the internet, around the world, and people that I'm prob you probably know that have the 5S, great camera on this device. And this does have an 8 megapixel camera. And while I'm not going to show you samples, I can tell you that this one's not even close to this camera in terms of quality. Um, it's not a bad camera. It's going to take uh, sharp pictures, but nothing that's going to impress you. The iPhone is capable of pulling off some impressive shots if you know how to use the camera relatively well. Let's get in the speed test of the Alcatel Fierce XL versus the iPhone 5S. Now you do have a 32-bit 
chip right over here with two gigs of RAM and you have a 64-bit chip over here with um, one gig of RAM. But the iPhone 5S, as we all know, don't have to keep saying it, but we're going to say it anyway, is very optimized. So let's go ahead and open up some apps. Let's make sure everything is closed here first. So let's close out there and uh, let's close out there. So let's begin with settings in three, two, one. And uh, you could see that was pretty close, but I have to hand it to the iPhone. Uh, it looks like the Alcatel came back first. Let's go into calendar and see how that opens. Looks like the iPhone is there a lot quicker. Let's go home. And I know this is an unfair test because this is a budget phone. This is a flagship phone, although this is a used flagship phone nowadays. Um, the Alcatel is a pretty solid speed demon. And um, you could see there's a widget here. So you will be able to see weather here first on the Alcatel. But the iPhone's applications do open quick. And animations are enabled on both devices. So let's go into settings and let's find calculator on both. And let's go into there. As you can see, iPhone is quicker pretty much, but it's nothing that's going to like blow you away. Now in terms of overall smoothness, consistency, the iPhone 5S of course is beating the Alcatel every time. But the Alcatel is a really solid performer for the, the amount of money you would pay. And I would go as far to say that you can pretty much do everything on here that you could do on here unless you have a MacBook and you're talking Apple's ecosystem and continuity and things like that. Just did the speed test. Now let's take a look at the multitasking on both of the devices, see which one, how they perform in the multitasking section. And it looks like the iPhone uh, popped that one up in quicker. Let's go into another application here. Let's go into settings here and uh, let's see how that opens. iPhone on that one. Let's go back into the multitasking tray here on the Alcatel and uh, let's go into calculator here. And uh, just like the speed test, not too much of a difference in general performance. And uh, most phones these days aren't too much difference in general performance. But I know that you guys wanted to see this if you're, you know, cross shopping these. And I know a lot of people are saying this is unfair probably. And that's true. It may be unfair, but I know there's people out there who broke their iPhone and are picking this up or they lost their iPhone and they need a quick budget phone and they seen this ZTE with a 5.5 inch HD screen. They were like, all right, I'll take it. Because overall, the design is pretty nice here on the Alcatel One Touch Fierce XL. Conclusion, what is the difference between the Alcatel Fierce XL and the iPhone 5S? And you could say pretty much everything, Android, iOS, plastic, uh, aluminum here, you know, slower processor, quicker processor. But the fact of the matter is, if you broke your iPhone, if you lost your iPhone, if you don't want an iPhone anymore, you want to try out Android, and you're on T-Mobile or Metro PCS, or I don't know if you can get this unlocked, but I've seen it only on T-Mobile carriers at the moment. This might be a good option if you want to try out a phablet, a big screen, and uh, it's actually like the size of the iPhone 6 Plus. And uh, it does run very smooth, and it's a pretty enjoyable experience, although it's not going to, you know, stand out and impress you, but it's a good starter smartphone. But, uh... Overall, that's pretty much the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up down below. Subscribe for more technology videos. We crank them out here every week, at least three times a week minimum. And uh, I will catch you.